All right, we got the story of the day. Story of the day. The Ask Reddit stories. <laughs> here you have a mother here. <laughs> she says, I found out my daughter is sleeping with my friend who she's known since she was seven. Now, she's saying her male friend. This is a married mother who found out her daughter is sleeping with her male friend who she's known since she was seven. <laughs> she says, I, 43 female, have a daughter, 22 female. So mind you, she's 22 years old, 22 years old, who I'll call Liv. My good friend, who I'll call Adam, who's 42 male, has known my daughter since she was seven. He would even babysit her for me and my husband, Stephen, who's 46 male. Now, mind you, this is a woman who has a male, a married woman who has a male friend, <laughs> a straight male friend for many years. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, man, that's that's funny. She goes, I found out three weeks ago when my daughter hosted a party to celebrate her birthday. She said she wanted to do one day with her friends and then the next with her family. She even took it upon herself to invite Adam, which confused me because I didn't give her his contact info. I noticed they were awfully close with each other and it even made me uncomfortable. Uh oh. <laughs> the final straw was when I saw him caress the back of her shoulder and then I confronted her in private about this. She said that her and Adam had been seeing each other for about six months now. I was extremely angry and reminded her that she has known this man since she was a child. Then she further went on to say she was an adult and can make her own decisions. I stormed out and I cussed out Adam for even thinking this was all right. It's now been three weeks and my daughter is still refusing to speak to me. I will not forgive Adam. Now, let me tell you what I think. Let me tell you what I think is people think that he groomed her and I can understand why, because he, he knew her. But let me tell you what really I, and I'm, I'm going to lean towards my instincts <laughs> because shout out to Corey Holcomb. He said he we always I rely on my instincts. And sometimes the answer is right in front of us. We just don't want to address the obvious because we always want to believe there's an exception to a rule. But watching people over the years. I think I have a good idea what happened. I think I have a good idea what happened. This is what I believe. I believe the mother here is in the wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. She was, she's married, right? But you have this straight male friend around your people the whole time, which technically it's a violation, but. And this, 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 was, this will probably be the same girl that talk about men and women can be friends. But really, you, was, you had Adam around as a backup to keep your husband in line. That's what I believe. That's what it is. And really, you knew Adam probably had feelings for you. He probably already told you that he had feelings for you way back, back in the day. This was, so this guy was always going to be in the friend zone. Now, what ended up happening is karma. <laughs> this is what happened sorry I sounded so evil with that laugh anyway this is what happened as your daughter grew up and now she's 18, 19, 20 she is now at that age where probably Adam had met you at that age right and now it's literally mini you and she probably let's let's people just think that it was probably just Adam uh, creeping up on the daughter no it was probably, I'm going to tell you this, the daughter, for whatever reason, she probably saw how you treated Adam. She probably saw how you was treating him like a backup, like a backup QB, just eh, whatever, making him do certain <laughs> things. And on top of that, since he's been around your daughter for the whole time, she's grown in affinity to, to him. Because when, I know this is uncomfortable to talk about, but when you have somebody that age, right, around somebody of older age they end up looking up to that person and they grow an infinity for that person now that infinity grew into something else because at the end of the day they're not related right so the, <laughs> so these are the things that happen so she probably was like well she was low-key i think the daughter went with adam to make the mom mad that's low-key what i think or because she knew that was going to make her mom feel a type type of way because daughters will do stuff like that daughters will do stuff like that or you know yeah daughter daughters will do stuff like that 
So you held him around. He probably she probably saw how you you treated him. She probably felt bad for for the guy. And that those feelings once those once feelings start getting intertwined, you don't ever know what that's going to turn into. Particularly when you're talking about women who are just they're just random. They're big bags of emotions. So you're mixing all these feelings together along with her uh, infinite the, the affinity that she feels for that for that older man. And on top of that, she she already looks up to him. They were probably alone one day. They were probably talking about feelings and they were probably talking about you, the mother. And <laughs> one thing led to another. And he was like, wow, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm I'm sitting there still waiting for <laughs> this this old block of cheese where the 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 the, the uh, a fresh the fresh batch is fresh batch is right there in front of me and he was just like shit and she was feeling him too let's keep let's let's not act like this was just like a one sided thing they were both they were feeling each other at the time one thing led to another and now they're together i believe that's what happened and really once you found out that you and you the the adam and the daughter was intimate you low you wasn't even it's not even a matter of that he was with your daughter is a matter of fact that your substitute is gone your backup dude is gone that's what i think really it is and you need to hold that l <laughs> and move on and really just tell you that look that man is too old for you in terms of he, he whatever just just you know just be there just be there for the daughter because you know daughters are gonna make interesting young daughters are always gonna make inter interesting decisions and you, you know you just gotta culture through it you know what I mean? But that's what it really is. Now, I remember on the live stream, I went over the story, but I did show the full, like the full story, because people are probably going to wonder, wonder about what the dad's reaction was to Adam. So I'll, 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 I'll bring, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring that up. So here I brought up the full story for you. The full, full, full story. Right. She said, I was extremely angry and reminded her that she has known this man since she was a child, blah, blah, blah. I stormed out and I cussed out. Adam. He fired back saying that she was capable of deciding what she wants. Ah, uh, yep, exactly. So I, it's already. Like, I already know what that I already know what that is. He was probably waiting for the mom to finally break up with her husband for all. And he's just <laughs> tired of waiting. <laughs> right. That guy was in the friend zone. That guy was in the friend zone. And women will keep guys like that around all, and just, just use the hell out of these guys. Just a, really, it is really abuse, really, because you really shouldn't even be having this guy around. But you use the, use the hell out of that guy. Use the hell out of that guy. So that him firing back like that, that means that was probably the first time he stood on his nuts. He said, my husband got into the argument, almost causing a fight to break out. My husband and I left feeling ashamed of what had happened. It's now been three weeks and my daughter is still refusing to speak to me. I will not forgive Adam because I feel as if I don't truly know how long they have been messing around. For all I know, she may have lied about the six months and they could have had this thing going on since she was underage. The thought of it makes my stomach turn because if it is true, why didn't I notice? Everything was fine before I found this out and my daughter was a very well-behaved child. I wouldn't have never imagined this. I feel as if I am a bad mother because what if there were signs and she and him were involved while she was still a teenager? I don't know what to do and how to move forward from this. Now, at the end of the day, it's really her fault anyways. Like say, like say for example, I, I, don't, think, I don't think they were messing around since they were like 16. I don't, I don't believe that. But say if they were, that's her fault. That's the mother's fault. Why do you have this man around? That's like for the whole, the whole time. Like you, you, oh, so you have a straight heterosexual male. They, these, these be the same people talking about. I trust the bear more. I trust the bear more, but they will have all these male friends around them. So what do you need them for? What do you need them for? Because let's keep it about, that was the backup dude. That was the backup dude. And she's low key mad that her backup is gone. <laughs> that's that's what i think it is <laughs> oh man but like i said this is karma because let's let's keep i think the mom she thought she 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 had all everything under control and I, i'm the one running the show you ain't running shit here you think it was okay to leave this guy around your daughter the whole time because you thought no, because she thought she thought it was like Shadow Hunters, right? You know, in Shadow Hunters, the guy ended uh, ended up being with the uh, the red the, the black dude ended up being with the redhead and basically adopting the daughter. <laughs> Nick, biology is a motherfucker, bro. 
And the daughter was basically a mini you. And when she came of age and when it was legal, when it was legal, he was, and she, and it's not like she was 18. She, she's, she's 22. She's 22. So I don't even want to hear that on, on that end. So it's not, it's not like she was like freshly 18. She was 22. So this was a, to me, this was a consensual uh, d d decision. But I, this story was funny to me because she, she could trick the average normie and act like she's the, the, the woman is the victim here. <laughs> and, and you know how a woman do it. Oh man, it's my fault. And really, she's just saying that so nobody else can say. It. I mean, I'll be like, "Yeah, it is your fault. <laughs> you put that. You you set up that situation. Because low key, you was trying to double dip, trying to keep your husband in line by keeping that man around when he didn't had no business being around. And your daughter, since he was around him so much, has grown an affinity to that guy. She looks up to that guy, and she probably saw how you treat him, or she's probably heard you talking about him, or you probably told him how you you was probably bragging to your daughter how oh. You know, he asked me out when I was in college and I said, no. And look how he still treats me. And he was probably doing that bullshit. <laughs> I've heard women talk. They, they'll, they'll do shit like that. And she was probably looking at you like, oh, so I guess you don't want him. <laughs> OK, I'll I guess I'll do. I'll take that guy off your hands for you because she was probably doing that. Let, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. She was probably doing that bull. I'm telling you, that's what women will do stuff like that to humble brag. Not knowing that's going to end up backfiring. Cause she thought what she thought was she, what she thought she was going to do break up with her husband at a certain time, then get with that guy and he'll be the stepdad and he's, he'll be the perfect stepdad because he's known my daughter since she was seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, trust me. I, I, I know the game. I know what she was. She, that's what she was trying to pull. That's what she was trying to pull. So when the husband finally gets out of line, he finally cheats or he does something wrong and blah, blah, blah. He break up with her, then break up with him and then be with the guy that's been babysitting your daughter for free for all these years. Cause let's keep it a buck. She probably wasn't even paying him most times when he was doing the, when he was doing that baby, when he was doing the babysitting. Oh, if you guys don't believe me, tr trust me, women do, do stuff like that. Anybody that they can use to help them serve them, they, they'll do it. No matter if, who, what the collateral, not who they don't even give a F about the collateral damage on that end. They don't even get, they don't care until shit hits the fan. So if I was the 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 the, the female, the forty three year old female here, um, you can't beat biology. You versus your twenty two year old mini you, which is your daughter, who's going to win that battle? It's obviously going to be the daughter. He went for that. She she expressed the consensual feeling. One thing led to another. Take that L. <laughs> but let's look at some more of these comments. <laughs> Oh man, they all they all mad at Adam. They mad at Adam. <laughs> oh man. Talking about this man has been in a position of power over this girl for years. And whose fault is that? These are the same women talking about, oh, I trust the bear more than adult. But at the same time, you'll have a man around your kid this whole time. And because he's serving your purpose, forget about the bear situation. He's serving me. Okay, all of that goes out the window not knowing the possibilities of, yo, they could get intimate. All of that goes out the window, right? Uh, you know, when, when <laughs> because this is because this is what she thought that in the future, she could use that male friend to keep her husband in line. Right. And probably he was probably not the, the strongest looking alpha male or whatever. I think that's what it is too, because he's probably not like the most OD attractive guy. And they're seeing their daughter with a guy. Like, and they're just like, no, but you could use that. He, he was probably he probably always came across as a beta male because only a beta male will accept a position where I'm babysitting somebody's daughter <laughs> for 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 umpteenth years. Right. And then still being friends with a, a consensual friend with a, 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 a married mother. What man? Stop. She thought she could just use that guy to keep her husband in line and then break it off with her husband eventually and then have that man step in. But really that got ruined <laughs> that's my that's that's my opinion on that and and like i said you guys could disagree with me like you could disagree with me on that end but i'm, I'm sorry i've watched people for too long <laughs> I've, I've watched people for too long i've watched you normies for too long you guys will do will have plans like this and be shocked when it backfires <laughs> I, i've been watching people for too long i think i'm right on the money i think i'm spot on I think I'm spot on. But what do you guys think? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But what do you